Hello Aries, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Aries, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages could resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for Aries for the next 48 to 72 hours. What would you like for them to know? Next 48 to 72. Messages for Aries. What is the energy? Okay. I have growth. You will grow from this situation. All right, Aries. So let's see what it is. Bottom of the deck, transformation. Things are changing in your life. So Spirit, tell me why is growth here for Aries? Why is growth here for Aries? I got this same card um, first out on the Earth Signs reading for the membership. So if you are a part of the membership, you can go check it out. It's for the top two tiers. Golden Rose and Super Butterfly. Spirit, give me an energy for growth. Why is growth here? The Queen of Pentacles. Give me another message for growth. Why is growth here for the Earth signs? What is the message? The Four of Pentacles. So someone um, may have to be frugal. Somebody may actually be downsizing here. Give me another energy for the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Aries? Next 48 to 72. The Eight of Cups. So someone could be downsizing because they're walking away from a relationship. Somebody's choosing to leave a commitment. Six of Swords. Somebody's being guided away out of out from a situation, out of a situation. I feel like with um the Ace of Swords in the reverse, um somebody could be realizing that they were lied to, manipulated. I'm hearing foundation, so somebody's realizing that whatever they had, it was based off of a lie. Like it was never real. It was never authentic. Give me another energy for for Aries. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? What is the message? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Aries? The Chariot. Yes, yeah, somebody's moving on here. Cancer energy. Yes, yeah, somebody's choosing to walk away. I feel like for some of you with the Magician, um, Virgo, Gemini energy to the Eight of Wands, this is going to be a very quick transition. Like somebody's like on the go, like we got to move, we got to go, we got to get out of here. Now for some of you, this is just somebody having to leave their residence abruptly. Like we have to go, we have to get out of here. Like somebody um has to move out in a short period of time. Somebody could be getting short notice as well, stating that they have to go. Somebody could be getting evicted. That's not going to resonate for everyone. Give me an energy for... The Four of Pentacles. Somebody could live on the fourth floor. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Aries? I have the Ten of Wands. Yes, something's a burden. Something's a struggle here. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody um finds their financial state very taxing somebody's frustrated about their money their income somebody could have been in this ace of pentacles energy could have had a lot but now somebody is having to downsize drastically someone is used to a certain way of life that's what this is and that's changing somebody's in the struggle or that's where they're going to be somebody's going to have a lot of burdens here a lot of responsibilities somebody could have taken on too much too soon that's what i'm getting I think I'm hearing newlyweds, so somebody could have gotten married, could have, you know, moved into an apartment or brought their first home. Just a lot of new experiences happening, but somebody wasn't ready for it. You know, somebody ended up spending a lot, ended up putting more out than they were actually taking in. Give me energy for the Four of Pentacles. 
Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Aries? Next 48 to 72. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, Spirit? Next 48 to 72. Messages for Aries. What's the energy? The High Priestess. Pisces energy. Yeah, somebody's secretly struggling here. Somebody really um had to downsize their entire life. And they want to keep this hidden. They don't want people to know um, that they're going through. Somebody feels miserable. Yeah, for some of you, like, this is a commitment. Somebody could have recently gotten married here. For some of you, this is a situation, too, where somebody could have um, gotten, gotten into a relationship or um, married someone, committed to someone because of money. And it's like... This person is now discovering whoever they committed to don't have as much money as they thought. So now they're in regret. Somebody tried to like be a gold digger or a gigolo. This is like when being a gold digger or being a gigolo goes wrong. <laughs> That's what this is. Somebody thought they were going to get the Ten of Pentacles and like, no ma'am, no sir. Like... This person don't have ten of pentacles. This person has four of pentacles, though. <laughs> this person has something to work with, but not what you think. Somebody really could have felt like this person had a lot to offer. Somebody's an opportunist. Yeah, somebody marries for money or gets into relationships for financial gain. But there was something hidden here. Somebody did not have as much as this person thought. Yeah, this person like has to work every day trying to balance out their finances. Somebody is not doing as well financially as this person thought. Yeah, this was a third party and somebody's having a rude awakening. A lot of things are coming to light. So where this person thought that she was going to play this masculine energy, she ended up getting played because somebody thought, you know, they were going to be well taken care of. This person had a lot, but no, not at all. Somebody can maintain, but they're not rich. Like, you're not just going to live this lavish life. You still have to go to work. <laughs> For some of you, I'm hearing housewives. So somebody actually thought they were going to be a housewife or house husband. Um, like, no, ma'am, no, sir. Give me an energy for the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aries? What is, what is the energy spirit? The Seven of Wands in the reverse. You know what? Somebody's not even trying to put up a fight. Like, someone is letting <laughs> their partner walk away. Like, you can go. I will hold the door open for you. You can get out. You can leave. I'm telling you, Five of Pentacles, somebody's broke. Somebody doesn't have any money. And someone is like, no, you can go. I'm good. <laughs> Give me another energy for the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? What's the message? The King of Cups in the reverse. Ooh, somebody's being cold towards someone here. Yeah, somebody's being cold towards someone. Very mean. Somebody is completely emotionally distant. Yeah, it's like somebody's like, you can go. You can go now. For some of you too, like whoever this masculine energy is, he's realizing that somebody just only wanted him for his money, his finances. That's why this person is being cold, being distant, detached from whoever this Queen of Pentacles energy is. Someone just wants this person to leave. Yeah, this is definitely someone from this person's past for some of you. Who they chose to commit to. For some of you, they could have a child together. There's definitely a lot of conflict and drama, arguments going on at this time. Especially over the money. And then I'm hearing, um, Destiny's Child, can you pay my bills? And over the bills. Like, somebody really thought they were going to be set for life. 
and that's not the case. Give me an energy for the chariot. Why is the chariot here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the chariot here for Aries? What is the energy spirit? Why is the chariot here? The lovers. <laughs> I feel like this person wants to go towards somebody else. This person could want to go towards a Gemini or just another energy overall. Yeah, somebody's realizing that they were manipulated, lied to. Give me another energy for the chariot. Somebody feels like they were heavily lied to. Like this wasn't just like the small lie here like this was a major lie like somebody was bamboozled here somebody feels foolish give me an energy for the chariot why is the chariot here for cancer for <laughs> aries the devil and death so we have capricorn and scorpio energy this person is realizing that um they went towards somebody who's toxic. Low vibrational, money hungry. Someone thought that a relationship was going to change their life, their circumstances. Give me energy for death. Why is death here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is death here for Aries? What is the energy? The Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, someone thought that by being with this person, they were going to be at the top of the Wheel of Fortune. They were going to live a life of luxury. But somebody's realizing that they actually committed to somebody who is in the Four of Pentacles, who does not have much. Like this person hid their financial instability. Like, both of these people were lying to each other. This masculine or feminine was lying about how financially stable they are. And then the other person was lying about why they wanted to be in this relationship in the first place. Somebody acted like they really loved and cared for the other person, but they didn't. It was for money. So it's like they both played each other. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Heavy on the Scorpio. Give me a message for the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? And whoever this person is definitely did not want people to know that they had a lot of responsibilities on their shoulder. A lot of burdens. This is somebody who... um definitely wanted to put on for the public this person cares about appearances so this is someone you know that may come off as a queen of pentacles king of pentacles energy they'll look the part they'll dress the part they'll have a nice car but in actuality they're living beyond their means they're struggling to pay their bills they're in debt this person didn't want you to know that or didn't want this other energy to know that. Somebody wore a mask here and made themselves appear to be something that they weren't. Somebody really did not have their life together. They didn't have their priorities in place. Give me an energy for the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit? The Fool. This Fool energy is giving me that somebody has to look for somewhere to stay. Aquarius energy. Yeah, somebody has to look for a place to go. Somebody really doesn't have it like that. I feel like for some of you, um, this is somebody who could have walked away from you. Thinking that the grass was greener, they were going to be able to have abundance with someone else. And now looking back, reflecting, they realized that you were the abundance. You were the ace of pentacles. You were where the real opportunity resided. But this person could have felt like you were in the four of pentacles. <laughs> you didn't have much. 
And they ended up partnering up with somebody who actually was, who actually was everything they didn't want. Somebody who was unstable financially. And for some of you, they had to take on this person's burdens. That's why they ended up in lack. Take it as it resonates. For some of you, this is a situation where a couple bamboozled each other. <laughs> One person thought they were going to get money out of the situation, but the person ended up being broke. And the other person felt that, you know, this energy loved them. But no, it was really about the finances. So they're both hurt because neither of them got what they expected. And then for some of you, you have someone who thought you didn't have anything to offer. And they ended up connecting with someone who actually didn't have nothing to offer, who actually was a four of pentacles, and they had to foot the bill when it comes to this relationship and had to take on this person's burdens. And now they're looking back and realizing that you were the ace of pentacles. You were the empress, Libra, Taurus energy. As they reflect, they see the signs. They're getting the downloads. When it comes to who is who, they can see now. And I'm telling you, somebody needs to look for a place to stay. Or that's what they're currently doing. Give me an energy for the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the high priestess here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is the high priestess here, spirit? What's the message? The Ace of Pentacles. The secret is that you were the gift. Somebody rejected the gift, rejected the real opportunity, and they settled. I'm telling you, whoever this person partnered up with overspends, and they committed to this person based on a lie. Ace of Swords in the reverse. And the truth is not in them. Somebody could have also lied to you about a commitment. Somebody could have already been in a situation, in a relationship, and they did not tell you the truth. For some of you, that's why this person rejected you, because they were already committed to or partnered up with somebody else who was draining them financially. They could have a kid with this person. Yeah, but somebody rejected the Ace of Pentacles. And settle for the four. That's the secret that you were the gift. That is what was hidden. Somebody couldn't see. Somebody wasn't using their intuition. And that's what made this person choose wrong. Go down the wrong lane. So let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me an energy for growth. Why is growth here for Aries? What is the message? Why is growth here for Aries? What is the energy? The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to grow from this, but it's going to be slow and painful. <laughs> This person could have an issue with their ego, their pride, but they're going to be surrendering that, if not already. Yeah. Somebody has a long road ahead. A lot of learning experiences. Give me one more energy for growth. Why is growth here for Aries? What is the message? Yeah, the King of Wands. It's going to take someone a while to get back on their feet, to regain their stability, to be where they desire to be. So whether this person is learning a lesson about misjudging people, um, listening to their intuition, or learning a lesson about not trying to please other people, Putting on for the city, not living above his means. Either way, 
it's going to take this person a long time to regain some standing when it comes to their stability and in that process this person is going to learn some major life lessons because somebody is going to have to go through the valley here someone is going to struggle for some time especially where this person passed you up yeah missed out on the ace of pentacles and settled for life like yes this is going to be a major life lesson that this person will never forget transformation this is going to push this person towards their awakening give me an energy for transformation why is transformation here for aries what is the energy seven of pentacles and the emperor so i'm just getting like delayed yeah it's like this person delayed their growth <laughs> they did that's why we have the knight of pentacles it's going to be a long time it's going to be a long road up ahead somebody is the king of wands and they have to become an emperor aries your energy on the emperor yeah it's going to be a long painful journey for this person but it's worth it. I feel like this change is going to make someone fully step into their power and realize what's important and learn how to trust their intuition and make better decisions overall. And then I'm hearing schemes. So for some of you, this is somebody that likes to get things the fast way. Yeah, somebody's being made to slow down. Spirit, give me one more final message for Aries. What's the energy? One more final message for Aries. What's the energy? Child. The number 9, I feel like I'm getting two messages from this. Like with this child, this is somebody that really wanted to live out their wildest dreams. Things that they never really got to experience as a child, as a child or had as a child. Like this person overindulge to compensate for what they felt they lacked as a kid and for a lot of you it had to do with um the material things for some of you this person could have grew up in poverty or just didn't have much and then i'm also getting with this child like somebody being childish <laughs> somebody is extremely childish focusing on the wrong things temporary things things that really are of no value This person is going to learn the true meaning of life, um, the true meaning of acceptance as well, because I feel like this energy did judge you for someone and just being grateful. So Aries, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Um, I'm also getting like with this 18, um, which equals out to nine. Somebody is definitely becoming single as well. So whether this person is, you know, getting out of a marriage, divorcing, or just walking away from a connection, somebody's going to choose to be single. So stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.